Hey guys, this is Kajimi 92 and I'm doing the NAND gate now. I'm doing a bunch of videos on logic gates in Minecraft, and it's time for the NAND gate, because I just did the AND gate. And NAND gate is like the same thing as the AND gate, except with a an inverter at the end of it, with a NOT gate. I'll go on this side, because there's too much room. Not enough room. So, here we have our our normal looking oops um uh, and gate switches except like this is our and gate right here right well we just take this off and there we have an and gate both inputs it's a NAND gate is pretty much outputs the opposite of an AND gate. So yeah, so here we have the both inputs have to be on for the output to be off. Pretty simple. Another way you can do this is take these off and put them right here. Works just the same and it's a lot more space efficient in some cases because sometimes you don't want it going too high up and I'm going to set the time there we go so let's hold up um, yeah so you can obviously make with the, with the N NAND gate, everything you can make with the NAND gate, but pretty much all you have to do is ta da, there we go, NAND version. So all these switches have to be on for the output to be off. Same one with this one. I just remove this, put that down. Ta da However, I don't want to be breaking my stuff. So pretty much if you want if you need a kind of explanation of what how it works is just when both the inputs are off both of them are on, so the output is on. Now if you turn off one of them, one of them is still on, so the output will still be on. Now if you turn off this one, both of them are off, so the output will be off. Yeah. So, well, actually it'll be, hopefully you guys can actually hear me. Yeah. So, that was the NAND gate. I won't make sense. The NAND gate's like an AND gate, but with a inverter at the end of it. And yeah. Okay, see ya.